Hello everyone, welcome back. Last time I took you to Spain, this time I'm going to bring you back to India for this next recipe, specifically to South India. We're going to make a coconut chutney. Now a coconut chutney sounds simple, but getting the exact right proportion of ingredients and the right ingredients is very important. There's different ways to make this. Every household has a recipe. This is mine. Uh, the recipe also is a take from Saravana Bhavan. Saravana Bhavan is a very popular uh, global now, uh, Tamilian chain, started in uh, Chennai and grew all over the world. They make this coconut chutney, but I've also used a couple of twists that I learned through the years from different people. And I'll tell you about that in a second. But with that, let's get started. First things first, let's start with the ingredients. So you can see I have a few different key ingredients here. A good chutney, the ingredients are very, very important. So the most important, of course, the hero of the dish is coconut. So you want to make sure you have fresh coconut. And when you are cutting the coconut, try not to get the end brown part of it and keep it mostly white. And, and as you can see, here's a closer look. It's freshly grated, beautiful coconut that'll give the right color, flavor, texture, all of those things if you do that part correctly. This is the most important step. So I have about one cup over there of coconut. And then I have roasted gram over here, uh, which is also you know, chana dal essentially. And you can see it's nicely roasted. That's because it gives it a nice nutty flavor. And that's very important to this. This is a trick I learned from a good friend and a fellow member of a group called the Recipe Exchange, which I've founded. Uh, the Recipe Exchange is a Facebook group and you're welcome to go look it up. Uh, it is, it's got a few thousand members and there's a lot of recipes over there. The uh, trick here is I normally just put green chilies, but a good uh, friend and a big contributor to the group said add some red chili also to it. So that's what I'm doing today. Half green chilies is about two green chilies and two red chilies. That's what I'm going to add. Then I have coriander. Now, like I always tell you guys, don't ignore the stems. So this is coriander chopped up with the stems. You can see some of the stems in the bottom. And then I have about an inch of ginger, inch, inch and a half of ginger that has been coarsely chopped. And then here's the other key ingredient that Sarana Bhavan also uses. It's shallots. So shallots are little tiny onions. And I have one over here whole. So this is what it looks like when it's whole. So that's about three to four depending on the size that's what you want to use uh, shallots and uh, those are the main ingredients then i'm also going to add some salt and some sugar so all of this just goes into a blender so it's an easy process really so first the coconut i'll put the coconut in my blender I would love to hear how you make it at home. There's so many variations of coconut chutney. So I put that, my shallots, toss them in there, the ginger, oh, just a couple, and coriander or cilantro, the roasted gram. Now, remember this is all dry ingredients, so we're gonna have to add some water to this. Uh, and then of course my two chilies, throw those in there, that's all done. Salt is to taste for this much, I'd say uh, this is going to make enough chutney for three to four people, no more. So we add about um, three quarters of a teaspoon and that should be enough, maybe half to three quarters of a teaspoon and again that's to taste. And the other thing I like to do is add a little bit of sugar, cuts to the spice, but not too much, it's not a sweet chutney by any means, right? So we add about a quarter teaspoon of sugar. That's about it. So to this, we will um, add a little bit of water. Now, just don't add too much water. Fresh coconut. If you grind it, don't grind this too long. It has to be a coarse paste. If you try to grind it too long in the mixer, the heat from the motor itself is going to start cooking the coconut and you don't want that. So as you grind this, the coconut is going to start releasing its own oils. I'm sure at home a lot of you have um, cold pressed coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil or whatever and this is going to give you that naturally, right? So all I'm going to do is add about three or four spoons of water and and I'll get grinding. Okay, you can see I've blended. I added three to four tablespoons of water, wasn't enough. 
So I end up adding about uh, four more tablespoons of water. And again, this is all judgment. You know, you do what's right and the consistency that you want. This is now a nice thick consistency. Another trick I learned from my friend in the recipe exchange, Prabhakaran Sujai. Uh, thank you very much for this tip uh, in addition to the red chilies. Is add a little bit of vinegar. It gives it um, a bit of a tart flavor. Just about a quarter teaspoon, not too much. So I'm going to throw that in there as well. And if you take a look, let me show you this. This is the consistency right now. So I have a nice thick chutney. If you want it thinner, just add more water. Some people even add uh, dahi or curd or yogurt. But I don't want it. I, I don't want it too, too thin and runny. In Bangalore, in Karnataka, they serve a runny chutney. In Tamil Nadu, it's a thicker chutney. So it all varies by region. So I'm going to grind this maybe for one more minute to like get a paste, not too smooth, still coarse. And I mean, I want to tell you some more thing that we do, um, especially in India. We reuse containers, guys. So if you see, this says orzo pasta, but I have sugar in here. And you know, that's the beauty of it. Uh, uh, we are a firm believer, and more than me, my wife, Anu, who's behind the camera, we recycle. We like to recycle, so we don't throw stuff away. So sugar, you know, stored in an orzo pasta container. How cool is that? So we'll be right back for the tarka, which is the next step. So after grinding for about uh, one and a half to two minutes in total, I am done with my uh, basic chutney and that's the consistency. See that? I'm just shaking it to show you. It's a thick chutney. Like I said, that's an, how I want it. Um, but for any good chutney, the key is also a good tempering or tarka. I have some oil here. This is gingerly oil, which is sesame oil. You can use any oil you want. You can see it's already smoking. That means it's very hot. And I'm going to add, this is my tarka ingredients, very simple ingredients today. So I'm going to add a little bit of red chili, just break it up into a few pieces. And it's going to start cooking right away because it's very hot oil. So drop that in there. And then we also add our mustard seeds. The order of adding this is important. So we just add that and let the mustard seeds pop in there. And because that oil is very hot, you can see my mustard seeds are already popping. Right there. Perfect. And then to this, I'm next going to add some uh, urad dal, split urad dal. And I want to add that and cook it till it's got a little brownish color. It shouldn't remain white. So we'll stir that for a little bit. And I'm using my favorite cast iron mini tadka pan like I call it um, which I love because it retains so much heat so because it retains heat I can actually turn my heat off right now it will still continue and there's the popping of the mustard seeds perfect and then the last step of course I add some curry leaves just a handful of fresh curry leaves nice sizzle and my tadka or tempering also is done and I'll move that off heat because cast iron will still retain so much, like I said. And you can see it's all brown. So all my urazal is brown. That is the tempering. So we add this tempering uh, to the top of the chutney. And I'll show you in a second what the end product looks like. So that's it, folks. I put my chutney in a bowl and my tarka on top. And um, that's, that's it. That's my version of coconut chutney. With all the tips and tricks I learned from Sarana Bhavan, uh, from Prabhakaran, uh, from the recipe exchange, and then I added my own little twist to it and put it all together. So that's my version of coconut chutney. I'm sure you'll love it. Goes great with idlis, dosas, uttapam, or whatever is your pleasure. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.